nearly seven feet tall, Kevin Durant has the size, the touch, the ball handling, and the ability to score anywhere on the court at any given time. Now in his 14th season, KD is a four-time scoring champion, a league MVP, and a two-time champion and finals MVP. Ahead to Durant, here he comes! What a move by Durant! And Durant throws it down! Oh wow! The Durantula just threw it down. He is one of the most talented basketball players that we've ever seen uh, in our time. You know, the ability to score and create his own shot, I think he's an underrated defender. Uh, he guards, you know, one through five, uh, but just his ability to shoot the ball, man. He, he reminds me a lot of Dirk because you've never seen Kevin Durant get his shot blocked because at seven feet, I mean, you just can't touch it. He has a high release, a quick release, uh, but his skills, man. Like if you, if you had to pick a, a all-time hoop squad to go out and play a pickup game, KD's the number one pick. Like you, you gotta have him on your squad, but he's a Hall of Famer. He's a top 10 player in the NBA history for me, in my book. Durant right around Chandler. Oh, come on! Oh, bring the love. Excuse me. I got an appointment with the rim. He has no flaws offensively. You would you try to, you, you'd hope you could double him and hopefully he'd be a willing passer. But man, you, you can't affect his jump shot. You can't foul him because he's 90% from the free throw line. Um, it pulled up three and Hezzy to, to be able to do the, the crossover. It was an unguardable shot as you saw in the finals over Braun. You like the Slim Reaper or you like Durantula? Both are pretty cool. It's KD. Who knew? We knew. The Slim Reaper! Yeah. Man, you bet they know who he is. My favorite KD story is the championship run when he walked into that three towards the end of the game and he, you know, he stepped right into it and hit the three and he just started turning around and walking. Kevin Durant way outside, delivers! Kevin Durant from downtown. That's the same spot in game three last year. Steps in front of him, yelling. I'm, I'm behind him, right in his ear yelling. And he just walking, like nothing phased him. I think that was my, one of my favorite moments. And this year, the back-to-back -back NBA Finals MVP Kevin Durant. Here is Durant for the win! He turns, he shoots, yes! With one second remaining! I do, you know, broadcast for the Magic. The man came here. <laughs> man went, it was either 10, of, 10 for 11 or 11 for 12. And he had 30 points, his most efficient game of his career. And it was like poetry though. Like the man got to the free throw line this many times. But he had 30 off like 11 shots, missed one shot. Like this is what I'm saying. Like, and he continues to just, you know what I'm saying, build on to his body of work. Quick 6 all run, Allen got a piece of that one. Almost out of bounds somehow. Durant lets it go. Oh, are you kidding me? No! Kevin Durant. A chance at four. It was a playoff series where we was playing the Memphis Grizzlies. And Tony Allen was all over him, you know, Tony Allen, grit and grind, like he just, you know, made it very difficult for him. And I remember KD looking at the film and just realizing how he was just trying to eat up and crawl into his space, uh, take away his real estate, making it difficult for him. And he was just like, I got it. Like, I, I know what I need to do. And this was at the same time where like Mr. Unreliable and the article, the, the paper came out and Oklahoma City Press and everything. And we was just like, yo, just stay ready, man. You're the MVP, we believe in you. And man, when I tell you he came out with like one of the most efficient scoring nights I've ever seen, it was just, it was almost comical the way that he dissected that game offensively. Memphis threw everything at him. They blacked him, they threw double teams, they threw a couple blitz at him. And every facet, off the screens he was scoring, off the isolation he was scoring. He was getting like multiple effort buckets. Like he just did it all, man. So that was like one of my fondest memories of him, like responding to adversity uh, and just in real time and having his fingerprints all over us, a playoff series. 3D, there have been some all time greats to come out of the DMV, mm -hmm. yourself included. Thank you. <laughs> but the guy behind you Oof. might be the best there ever was. Yes, and there's no question about it. So when you talk about gym rats, and you talk about guys who just love the game inside out, 
I just remember the first time meeting a young man. He was playing for my high school coach, Stu Vetter. And I looked at him and I said, uh-oh, here, here's the mantle. You're the best. Because I hadn't seen somebody 6'11 at the time, almost seven feet, put the ball on the floor, post up, handle the ball like a point guard. But just loving the game of basketball so much, not playing the game the wrong way. That one year in Seattle, he's taking bad shots. He's getting out of control. Why are they letting KD do this? It's going to be bad for his career. Shh. He's going to play the, guy, the game the right way. He's a gym rat. He's going to listen. He's going to learn. He's going to be a sponge. So for him to, to have such a great career and continue to play the way he's playing, I'm just happy for him. He's really taught us what the term a hooper is, right? Like he truly is. And, and at, at his size, which may be seven foot, he doesn't mm -hmm. like to talk about exactly. it. Exactly. Has the game ever seen somebody that can score the way he scores? No, because he's smooth as ice man where he can come down and get to any spot on the floor. He can shoot the ball with the best of them, Steph Curry, Mark Price, all the great shooters. He can get to the free throw line like the Adrian Dantley's of the world. He, he rebounds the basketball. He plays defense. So it's like one of these things where we haven't seen anything like this. This is a true hooper slash unicorn who really loves the game of basketball and willing to do anything to stay on the floor. Think about that for a second. There's a lot of defining and signature moments of, of Kevin Durant's career off the court, the MVP speech mm -hmm. when he thanked his mom, calling yes. her the real MVP. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's the one in the finals. He's playing against LeBron James, methodically dribbles the ball across half court and pulls up and essentially wins the game en route to winning a finals MVP. If I may say... He was leaving it, and he left it from deep range with the confidence, all the years of being in the park, all the years of being in the boy club, the hooper really came out. So when people say, do you love the game of basketball? Do you really are willing to do anything? What KD showed us that his whole career. One of my favorite KD memories was playing him in the 2012 NBA Finals. And around that time, even though KD got like seven inches on me, I still was like, I was a good defender and I was, I was athletic enough to be able to guard bigger guys. Good timing and all that. So I remember, you know, throughout the series, Brown and I would take, uh, you know, uh, times with guarding KD. Just give him some rest, I'll go guard him and vice versa. And I remember one game in Miami, I'm guarding KD. I'm taking every move and everything, every counter he, he give at me, I'm there. Great defense being played. He go up for the shot. I contest it. I'm talking about if his wrist is here, I'm right here. Like perfect contest. And he hits it and he runs down the court and very quietly he say, you too small. Finding room. Gets it to go. Boy, he worked hard for that shot. Like it hurt me in a way <laughs> that I could do nothing but laugh <laughs> because it was the truth. I was just too small. It was nothing more I could do. And like he just said it so confidently and quietly like, bro, you too small. <laughs> I remember that moment because at that moment, like I was like, this guy is gonna be, <laughs> he's gonna be next level great. You know what I mean? We're in the finals right now, they're down and he's just being him. He's just hooping. He's doing what he's doing. He's one of the best at it. So to watch him go and win two championships, you know, to watch him you know, go and do the things he's done in the Olympic sports, and to watch him become KD, find himself, um, however he got there, he loved to see it. And so uh, he's definitely one of the greatest ever played this game.